morning church uh today our presentation is going to be discussed on the following items salt soil and uh light let's hear from our first speaker Nogu. greetings to you friends parents and visitors today we are going to discuss about salt we are all going to we are we are going to use matthew chapter 5 verses Verse 18, which says, You are the salt of the world. We are all familiar with salt. We use salt every day in our homes. I want us to draw a connection between salt and the Christians. I have two glasses of water here. One has salt, the other has plain water. Those two glasses look the same, but when I test the water, the one with salt has changed the test. Let's hear the rest from Nali. I thank you. Okay, so this is what salt does. It changes things a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt can change and enhance food taste. Salt also changes food and purifies it. This is what Jesus wants us to do as well. As little boys and girls, Jesus wants us to be the salt of the world. We are to change people and the entire world. We can do this by doing good things like obeying our parents and elderly people, caring for others, visiting the sick, helping each other. This will make the world a nice place to live in. As young Christians, we are to change the world. Jesus wants us to improve the quality life of people we meet every day. How can we do that? We can do that by introducing them to Jesus and by showing them that having Jesus in our lives is like having salt in our food. Everything is better when we have Jesus Christ. We are to have an impact on other people, flavoring them, changing them, serving them, and changing the world. Being the salt of the earth means we keep the world nice and fresh. We help keep the world from going bad or getting totally rotten. We do this by helping others and loving them, like Jesus. We should make life better for others. If salt has lost its taste, it's better to throw it away. So we are to be on use here on earth. Without us, the bacteria of sin would grow unchallenged in the hearts of friends. If we tell others about God, would be the salt of the world. Let us always remember to thank God that he made us the light of the world. I thank you. Soil. The sower is Jesus Christ, is Jesus, and the seed is the word of God. The ground is our heart where the word of God tries to take root. The path, the rock, the thorns, and the fertile soil represent the condition in which the word Finds our heart. Is our heart heart is our heart like the hard trodden soil of the path? How many times have we heard the teachings of Christ on how to live a good Christian life and not follow them? Is our heart hardened like a rock? Do we receive the word of God with joy, but it takes no root? And after a quick initial growth spurt, our faith dries up and we we fall away. The hardened soil is unprofitable as a useless salt. Farmers and those in agriculture understand this concept. The combination of salt, soil, and light is part of an endless utensils that points to the quality Christians are presented. And then Jesus said, And as, as for that in good soul, they are those hearing a word. Hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bring forth fruit with patience. This is the good soul we all strive to be. The word of God is the seed, and the, and the good soul is our heart. We can openly and honestly receive blessings from our Lord if we honestly root ourselves in Him. Then, like a tree with deep roots, we will be able to weather any storm. Thank you.
Light always involves the removal of darkness in the unfolding of biblical history of theology. The contrast of light and darkness is common to all the words for light in both Old and New Testament. The literal contrast between metaphysical good and evil, God and evil, forces believers and unbelievers. The Bible entertains no thought that darkness is equal in power to God's light. God is absolute sovereign who rules over the darkness and the powers of evil. Light is God. The importance of light and darkness is dramatically presented in the opening sentences of the biblical record. In response to the darkness that was over the surface of the deep, God spoke and light came into being. Darkness and light are evocative words in Hebrew. Darkness evokes everything that is anti-God, the wicked, judgment, and death. Light is the first of the Creator's works, manifesting the divine operation in a world that is darkness and chaos without it. The Joah 9 writings gather up the Old Testament understanding of the light and show its summation in Jesus Christ. 33 of the 72 occurrences of false view, the New Testament, are found in the Joah 9 literature. Light is the revelation of God's love in Jesus Christ and the penetration of that love into life darkness by sin. Jesus declares that he is the light of the world. Jesus is the incoming word of God who has come as the light that enlightens all people so that those believing in him will no longer be in darkness. Light symbolizes the Holy God. Light signifies God's presence and favor. Throughout the Old Testament, light is regularly associated with God and his word, with salvation, with goodness, with truth, and with life. The New Testament resonates with these themes so that the holiness of God is presented in such a way that it is God who lives in an approachable light. God is light, and the Father of light who disperse darkness. Of all the things, we are to be the light to the world. But we are never equal to God. We therefore should be light that leads others to Christ wherever we are at school, at work, at home, and in any other social gathering. Our open trust we have been taught, and each one of us will do self introspection. Children, parents, elders, pastors, in whatever capacity you serve in, be the light. There is no excuse that I'm a child or I'm young because our Pathfinder aim talks mm -hmm. to taking God's message in my world, in your, in mm -hmm. our generation. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says, you are the light of the world. I thank you. Uh, I shall call upon Naden Noku to sing a song and close and For a long time I've traveled Down a long on the road My heart was so heavy But sin I sang low But then I heard about Jesus what a wonderful love. I'm so glad that I found out he could bring me out, show me the way. Thank God I am free, free, free from this world of sin. Washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been born again. Hallelujah, say, 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 by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He could bring me up, show me the way. Make a bed out of prison. The second is blood, like a blind man, but God gave the kiss like a poor wretched beggar who found.
unfortunate fate. I am so glad that I found out he could bring me out with his holy name. Thank God I am.